Hi, welcome to The Good Life Show. We're here today with Mela, who works for the Department of Aging. And I'd like to speak to her about the Telephone Reassurance Program. So I want to ask her a few questions and give you some information as far as what is available to the citizens of Queen Anne's County. Good morning, Mela. Good morning. So um, I know about the program because I help volunteer here and make the phone calls. So I would like you to just explain how a person may... Um, sign up for the program or, or how they're eligible or what happens? Actually, uh, every senior who are uh, 60 and over is actually eligible for the program. It's a telephone reassurance program, which actually a lot of our seniors still want to live independently in their homes. So what we do is to make sure that they are still well and all that. And actually, some of them lack the socialization from outside. So we offer a Monday through Friday call. We have volunteers like you are right. who actually um, give us your time and talk to our seniors to make sure that they are well for the day. And then which also, if they don't answer the call, it alerts us to kind of like, uh, call to the next uh, emergency contact person if they still don't get any uh, get a hold of them then we go to another level and probably send somebody over to the house to make sure that they are there or they are well and also we ask the seniors that if they know that they're not going to be in the house for a particular day that our volunteers are calling them to please call us ahead of time if they have any other uh, things to do that day that will uh, prohibit them to answer the call of the volunteers for that day. Right. I know some of them have doctor's visits or that they may go visit with a niece or a relative and, and be gone for like a week at a time. Now, if... Um, there is a family member that would fill out a form because I know they have to give information if we can't reach them on the telephone and have to go to the next person. Um, who takes care of that paperwork? How do they do that? Well, actually, we have an application form that needs to be filled out, and then we actually... It's, it's just a simple application form, but we really don't... Uh, Everybody is actually allowed to uh, enroll or participate in that program. There is no eligibility level or anything. So if they think their parents or their uh, aunt or uncles will benefit from this uh, call, then we, we actually do it. Right. So if you know somebody that needs a call every day to have someone talk with them and um, just see how they're doing, or if you personally need to have someone call you each day, contact the Department of Aging and give them a call and have someone fill out the paperwork or if you're eligible to fill out the paperwork yourself. And um, we'd also like to invite anybody that would like to volunteer. Um, it's an easy thing to do. You come in here to the Kramer Center and you need to make telephone calls to the different people that are on the list and just talk with them, see how they're doing, um, get to know them and let them get to know you. And I think it would be beneficial for you to take advantage of this. So if you're eligible to volunteer, we'd love to see you. Or if you would like to take part in the program and fill out the form and get your call every day, we would greatly appreciate it. So that way that we know that you're taken care of and that someone's checking in on you. Um, Mela, you also said that you're involved in um, some other part of the program. That is true. There's another program with our department, which is called Senior Medicare Patrol, mm -hmm. which actually takes care of all the frauds that are going on with, you know, that our seniors are very uh, vulnerable with all this kind of stuff. I mean, it's not only with Medicare, it's not only through the internet, any kinds of fraud, our seniors can be right. uh, actually be a target. Uh, we want them to protect, detect, 
and uh, actually report whatever they see is not right with their um, with their explanation of benefits. If they see that there's a bill there that was billed to them and they weren't at the hospital or not a doctor's visit that they did, and they were billed uh, about it, then they should call us. And there's also a lot of other frauds that are going on, like uh, selling insurance. Insurance people sometimes have this um, forceful tactics that they use with our seniors that they will promise everything and then they will let them sign sign up for it without really giving the chance to the senior to think of what they were signing up for. Okay. And then all of a sudden you know that you sign up for something and then as you turn around there is no provider available in the within the community that you can use that kind of uh, insurance. And also one more thing is those lottery things. I just recently had um, a client who actually was scammed uh, with $2,500 uh, cold cash. They called him on the phone. They said he won and all that. And he said, well, in order to give you the $2.5 million, you have to send us the money so we can send you the money. So he actually went to a kiosk in, um, I think, in Marydale and then purchased this, um, what do you call that, money order and sign it for $2,500 altogether. The thing there is we contacted the sheriff's office. The sheriff's office cannot do anything about that, uh, getting the money back because it was actually voluntarily given by the senior to, to the people. But it's just to remind everybody that if it sounds too good to be true, it is. Yes. So kind of like uh, try to ask. And the thing there is to remind everybody, Medicare doesn't solicit. Medicare doesn't call you. Social Security doesn't call you. So if somebody calls you and asks you that they wanted to verify your Medicare number, do not give it to them because Medicare already have your number. Right. Social Security already have your number. They don't make those calls unless you're the one who called them. Right. So it's just, it's just a matter of being aware of what is happening around you. So we are here, we do outreach programs, we talk in senior centers to make them aware that we are here to help them. If this happens to them, it will be nice for them to share it with us so we can alert other seniors that this is really happening. Well, I wanna thank you for giving us all this information and um, I hope it helps and that if there are people out there that have gotten these types of phone calls or have been frauded that they let you know so that you can let other people know and be aware of it. So thanks for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the show and the information that we've given you. If you have any questions, feel free to call the Senior Center. Thank you and God bless.